On the 12th of March 2020, a brutal murder shocked the nation of Zimbabwe. A man who had offered a lift to two strangers was stabbed, slit, and bent beyond recognition by his passengers. This is the story of a good Samaritan, Memori Dereza, who became a victim of a senseless act of violence. Memori Dereza was a 35-year-old man who lived in Mashingo. He had borrowed his brother-in-law's car and Mazda Bongo Kombi to go to Botswana and buy some groceries. On his way back, he stopped at my Tenga border post, where he met two young boys who had just been deported from Botswana. They were Methuli Bruno, a 26-year-old, and Trust Nguenya, a 16-year-old. They asked him for a lift to Plumtree, and he agreed. Memory did not know that the two men had only 50 pula between them. He then asked them for 50 pula each as payment for the ride, but they did not have it. They did not tell him this and they had premeditated to rob him, so they tricked him into stopping the car. When he stopped the car, they threatened him violently to give them his money. But things took a deadly turn when Memory tried to escape. He disembarked from the vehicle and ran, but they chased after him, overpowered him, and stabbed him multiple times. They then slit his throat and dumped his body on the side of the road. They searched the car and found two tires and a container of diesel. They decided to use them to set the leader's body on fire, hoping to destroy any evidence of their crime. After burning his body, they drove away in his car, taking his groceries with them. Memory's body was discovered the next day by a local resident who alerted the police. The police launched a manhunt for the suspects who had fled to different locations. They traced the car to Bunu's aunt's homestead where they arrested him. He confessed to the murder and implicated Nguenya, who was also arrested in Binga. The two boys were charged with murder and appeared before the courts. The trial of Bunu and Nguenya was a swift and decisive one. They pled guilty and showed no remorse for their actions. The judge sentenced them to 70 years in prison. He sentenced Bonu to 40 years and sentenced Nguenya to 30 years with no possibility of parole. He described their crime as barbaric, callous, and inhuman. He said that they had betrayed the trust and kindness of Memori, who had tried to assist them. Memori Dereza was a loving husband and a father of two children. He was a hard-working and generous man who had a bright future ahead of him. His murder was a tragic and senseless loss of life that shocked and saddened the nation. His family and friends are still grieving and seeking justice. This is the story of Memori, a good Samaritan who paid the ultimate price for his kindness.